dear TRX community, welcome to our trade of the week video. We will give some short analysis of our trades and as well showing you how you as well can evaluate trades. First of all, in long positions, the sell point should be higher than the buy point to book profits and reasons to buy are, for example, huge dips and no rebound. There's upcoming news, especially in the crypto world, or if the TA is showing you good opportunities. Often, when we see volume of volatile breakouts, the price is seeing some fluctuations. So, as well, here it could be worth to enter the market, or if a project is not bottomed out yet, you can invest as an early investor with higher risk long term. Of course, there are reasons to sell to secure the profits, and of course, we securing the money via stop losses or trailing stop losses, or when we don't want to wait for the stop loss to get triggered. As well, when the indicators are showing a trend change to come, we can try to sell near the highest point or when we just feel comfortable with the profits, which you only realize profits are real profits and this I will show you in the next few minutes as well. And if we're touching resistance levels, often the market is seeing a pullback. So here as well, it can be worth to sell and enter later on once the resistance levels are broken. All in all, there are no golden rules for buying or selling. These are just a few options I wanted to show you. And if we're now taking a look on the last week, we saw a cryptocurrency market which was slightly negative on a weekly basis. While Bitcoin was able to hold the previous week levels, most of the altcoins saw small sellers, losing between 3 to 8 percent. Only Ethereum and the DeFi projects had a positive week, and so we currently at this moment held Bitcoin Ethereum with 10.8% profit and sold link with 28.3%. And if we're now taking a look on the market, we can easily see something. And Ethereum saw an upwards trend in the Corona hype. But it seems like that around this 400 level, there was a magic resistance. So basically Ethereum just broke 400 once, but always just was close to it and then saw a sell off. So we as well had a support near the 370 levels. So we tested this support a few times and then the market just waved between this trend channel in Ethereum for quite a long time. And if I just showing you this channel, Ethereum just bounced between it for around 11 days. So nearly two weeks of more or less uh, movement between these two lines with a max vola of 7%. So what happened? The support held and the market saw an upwards trend. And as this positive upwards trend was visible, we invested in this market. The market then just went up and as it broke this 400 level, it just mooned. So basically then we saw an upward trend of around 17%. We built it a local high near 442 and then the market saw a small sell-off. In this sell-off, it was very important to book the profits. Due to over here, we then saw a sell-off of around 6%. Within this 6%, of course, our trading stop loss got triggered and we were washed out of this market. So afterwards, we found a new support. So basically, the market was still very positive. The MSU was positive. We built a support and the market just flew away again. But then something happened. So basically here, it touched 440 again and then saw a huge sell off. So we are now below our selling point, even if the market just got above it once again. So here it's quite important to always see the opportunities and to realize the profits due to in the crypto market you easily can see huge sell-offs and then all the profits could be washed out. A little bit the same goes for Link. So basically Link saw a sideways movement of a few days. So Link went sideways for three and a half days and built a support right here at around $12.45. So this support was established after Link saw a huge upwards movement. As we then broke over here the local high, the market just flew away. But what was quite important before that, we're having this red, uh, this black trend line over here, the MA100 line, and this held as a support quite often. Now you can see it was touched multiple times, and as it touched it again, we just invested in this market due to we thought, okay, this seems to be a support the overall market was quite bullish and then the market just flew away based from this point onwards the market just flew away around 38 to 40 percent we built it a high 
over here at around $18. And then the market just saw a small sell off. So the small sell off over here was around 8 to 10%. So even if it seems not to be much, it is quite important to have a trading stop loss ready. Of course, we got washed out of this market just before this happened. So over here, we built a new support. We was washed out of this market. We booked more than 30% profits on these positions. We opened new positions. Afterwards, we built new highs. So basically new all-time highs for LINK. And now it's getting very, very serious. Did you now? You may think, oh, why have you closed the position over here with the trading stop loss and not let it run due to there were some higher points to come? Because followed by this, we saw a sell-off. So based on the sell-off, we are much below our sell point. So it's not worse to keep the positions and never close them. Do you want the market is going sharply down? You cannot book your profits. All in all, of course, the Yes, I was completely overbought over here, so a sell-off was overdue. But all in all, this is why booking the profits is so important. I hope you liked this video. If you do so, I would love it if you could comment, like or share this video. And we will hear us next time when it comes to trade of the week provided by T-Rox.